Hey everyone, it's Nancy. I had several requests by some friends to show them how I put the bags together for the paper bag mini that I showed the other day. Um, by no means did I make this up. Um, I've learned this from, there's several people that have tutorials on this and I told my friends this but they said that they wanted me to explain it to them so I'm going to do that. So. No way am I stealing anybody's idea. I'm just trying to help some friends. So, okay. Now, this is the normal everyday paper bag, okay? You can get these like for like a dollar or so for a huge package of them. Um, the bags that I use are these. They're by Michaels and distributed by Michaels. They're called Celebrate It. Um, I'm gonna show you the difference. This is the Michaels Celebrate It bags. As you see, it has like a nice coating on it. Very smooth, really nice quality. Um, the original bags, regular paper bags, and then these. So um, the Michaels bags are also smaller in size comparison. So, um, but you know, it doesn't matter. You don't have to use this, just use what you have, you know, because these bags can be pretty too. So when you get the bags, they have the little jagged edge and a little punch down here. You can leave that or you can cut it off. Um, normally I'll cut the bag down to seven inches and that gets rid of that. But before I do that, I fold this flap up like that and then I'll trim from here to here, cut it down to seven inches. So that leaves me with this, okay? So, <clears throat> I take this bag and depending on how thick your, you want your book or how many pages you want your book to have is how many pages that you'll need or how many bags. But I'm gonna show you basically how to get this bag ready um, to make the album. So, here's your bag. You've trimmed off your edge if you chose to. And this little flap here, on the under part of this, lift it up and just take your favorite adhesive and just run a strip there and then fold that back down so that this isn't flapping, okay? Now some people do that up in here. I don't, I don't seal this because it's okay by me. And then just take your bag, fold this back up and crease it across here. Okay, that's what you do at this point. Now you're going to get your bags together. Um, let me tell you how many. For basically a one, two, three, four page front and back paper bag. You're going to need eight paper bags. So, here are your bags, okay? They're all trimmed and that little flap is glued down and they're all folded up. So here's your stack of bags. Now what you're going to do with your bags is you're going to take one bag and then another bag and you're going to put these two flaps together. Just like that. Flap to flap. See that? Okay. Now you're going to attach them. It's better to use like a red tape when you do this to make sure it holds really good together. But just for time's sake, I'm just going to use my ATG. So you're just going to attach these two flaps together. Stick them down real good together. And then you have one pair of bags, okay? So you're going to do that a couple of times, just attaching your bags. And this, like, the end of the bag with all the folded part will be the outside of your flap. That's, that's fine because you're going to cover it with paper anyway. So not a big deal. So I'm just going to continue to Put these together really quick. 
Okay. Now, for this album, I'm going to do three pairs of the bags. So here's a pair, here's a pair, and here's a pair. Now, I'm going to have two extra bags for my end to attach to my covers, okay? So you're going to have the ends of your bags at the top here, your middle, your flaps in the center that are attached to each other, and these bags are going to go back to back, back to back. You're going to take another bag and you're going to put the bag part against the bag of these, and then you have just the bag with this flap wing here. Do the same thing on the back. So basically this is going to be your book, okay? Now this piece right here is going to attach to your chipboard cover, okay? And then you will attach this long part of this bag here to this one. We'll just do that. Again, it's better if you use like red line tape to make sure that the book doesn't fall together. So you have your flap and then your two bags are now together here. Then you'll have the flap and then the long part of the bag. So you're going to take your next set of bags and again I'm just taping them really quick just to show you. You're going to tape the long parts together. So the first part you tape the short parts together and this part you're going to tape the long parts. So now you have your flap to attach to your cover, the two sets of bags, there's two bags, then you have your little flap, then your two bags here, then your little flap, and then you're back to a single bag. Now I'm going to attach the next set. When you attach this, you need to go all the way around, okay? all the way around, use red line tape or score tape, and then in the center it's okay if you use your ATG. So I'm just going to attach this last set together, and then you're going to have flap, two bags, flap, two bags, flap, two bags, flap, bag, single bag. Now we need to make the flap to go for the back cover. So you'll take your last bag and you will glue it down, tape it down to the last set here, like this, okay? That's it. That's your bag assembly. You have flap that's going to attach to your cover and then your two bags and you'll decorate this flap. If you tape down just three sides of it, it'll give you a pocket, then you'll have your two bags decorate this up, put some tags or photo mats down in here, then the back decorate this up, decorate this little flap, this little flap, this page, and you got your two bags, put your um, photo mats, pictures, whatever down in here, do up the back, do up the flaps, do up this side, again you have two bags, do to both sides, do up your flaps, do up this side, there's your two bags, the last page, and then this is going to attach to your back cover. So say if this was, say this is a piece of chipboard, okay, and I want this for my cover, so I would just attach, this might not be a good sample, hold on, okay, so say this is your cover, okay, so your chipboard or whatever you're using, you're going to attach this bag right here to add your cover, okay, if you just tape down here, here, and here, it's going to give you a pocket on the inside of your cover. If you tape all the way around it, you can do that, that's fine, but you won't have that pocket, okay? Then on the back, it's going to be the same thing, okay? You have your chipboard cover, 
and for your back and you're going to take this piece and attach it here and same thing if you um, tape it down on each side and then across the bottom it's going to give you another pocket if you tape down all four sides it's fine you just won't have that pocket so that will make your book as you can see this one's not trimmed down but you get the point so there's your cover attached here two bags flap two bags and a flap two bags and a flap two bags and a flap and then that back flap attaches to your back cover and your book will have a nice binding um, when you attach these you might want to step your adhesive back you know a quarter of an inch to give you know some expansion space for your embellishment so I hope that helps if you have any questions just let me know